And I also am gonna try to put a little background music on. You all let me know how that. Eh, 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 eh. You still here? Okay, okay, pump it up, pump it up. All right, all right. So what you're gonna be needing today, we're gonna be using dumbbells, uh, various set of weights. I always say challenging yet doable. I'm gonna be using fives, eights, ten, stuff like that. Um, but first we will warm up. I'm so pumped you're over here. Okay, breathe, Jamie. I can breathe. All right. So here we go. I'll push play on this. I've never used this bird. Go. Let's go. Whoa! How cool is this? Okay. We'll warm up. Start with warm up. Breathing, breathing, breathing. And inhaling, lifting those legs and alternating those arms. If you would like, you can come into a higher swing march, alternating those arms, alternating those legs, and coming up three. I think it has a beat too. This is so exciting. Oh, shoulder roll. Coming in nice and slow. Into that squat, rolling shoulders back, pressing, opening the shoulders. Yes, nice job, Craig. Rolling, and now we're gonna do the opposite motion. So still coming into that squat, and now rolling forward in those shoulder rolls. Woo! Awesome job. Three, two, and one. Reach up and hinge. So we're gonna come up, reach up nice and high, and hinge at the hip forward. Reach up high, hinge from the hip forward. Knees are slightly bent. Working on a little hip hinge here, up to the sky, and down. Breathing up, inhale, and coming down. Spreading those fingers out nice and wide. Good, hard to contain my excitement. Woo-hoo! Moment pass back, side to side. So, option one, you can always take out the upper body or shorten that lever here. Option two, you're gonna bring that upper body into it. Option three, you can add a little bit of a hop. Nice deep breath. And option four, if you feel good, you can come into that jump. Always choose what feels best for you. Today, chest opener side step. We're going to come to the side, open up that chest and squat down. Knees bending, knees facing toes, coming into a hug, breathing and opening up like you're giving someone a hug. You determine the depth of the squat. So you can come here, you can come here, breathing, and here. Nice job. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit of warmth in your body, hence the warm up. Squat to sunny, nice big squat, opening up and breathing. Fingers are out wide, knees are slightly bent, and coming up, reaching up. Nice job, Gary. Good job. Nice, nice big breath. Good, Amy. Hup. And breathing, chest opening. Good, three. And pull back tight. This is so good, too. I used to have to like read stuff on the computer like this. And now I'm nice and big. Hopefully, I'm not the only one that's lagging this. Woo. All right, 15 seconds. Pulling back again. You can always. Take out that upper body, heel the bottom, pull back here, or reach up nice and high and incorporate that upper body. Grab a water bottle, I forgot to say that. Last one here in the warm up, jog in place. So, low impact. My feet are not leaving the ground. If you want, you can leave the ground a little bit and bend those knees. Another option is adding a little bit direction if you have that space in your area. You can add an up and back. Make sure you don't trip on anything like this mat. Whew. Rest and explanation, who named that? Oh, must be me, Jamie. Okay, so as you can see, we're coming up next on the dumbbell squat. We are going to do um, 35 seconds with a 15 second rest break. I'm gonna take two of these weights coming down along my shoulders, knees, Long hips coming down. We're gonna take the dumbbell squat right here. If you want, you can add a press. A press will be in the next set though, so just know that too. Two, and one, coming down, breathing, and up. 
So bending the knees, knees are facing toes and coming up all the way up to a stand. If you want, you can add that press. You control the depth of the squat. You also do not have to use weight. You can come here and up and down, breathing, inhaling and exhaling. It's so funny, like it's virtual, but I totally, I'm like feeling your all's energy, it's great. You're like, we don't have any energy. No, I'm kidding. All right, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, so next one, we're gonna come into a bent over row. So again, you can do this without weights, fives, eights, tens. We're gonna roll those shoulders back, hinge at the hip, knees are slightly bent, and pull that weight back. And, okay, some of them are 40 seconds. I'll just, I'll fix that later. So you're pulling back and breathing, squeezing those shoulder blades together as you pull those weights back and slowly bring them back down to the ground. Squeeze and hold, making sure that your shoulders are not kind of scrunched up like this. Bouncing the lats down here and pulling back, squeezing the back fine like you have a pencil between those shoulder blades and back breathing nice work and bringing down that weight come up whenever you need it and one this is one of these rest breaks this is so i'm like I'm just, I'm just pumped all right so now we're going to come to the quick movement so we have 20 seconds with a 10 second rest break high marches we did a little bit of this in the warm-up but I'm gonna bring you into option one, two, and three. Always grab a hold onto something for balance. Option one, with balance if needed. Option two, option three. And if you want, you can come into a high knees. And breathing, adding some direction. You're thinking about that opposing right, left, left, right, coming up with a string attached knee two elbow good Woo. next one we're coming into skaters side to side option one low impact coming down here other foot option two you're gonna add a little bit of a hop option three you're gonna come a little bit lower hinge at the hip side to side and option four you can come into a big hop and lift that leg up Breathing, this is agility, coordination, stepping, and changing direction. Good. Woo! I get a good feeling. So, with those ones, now we're gonna do, those were shorter ones, so we're gonna do those ones again. So, high marches, marches, high knees, however you feel like you did the first round and it was good for you, you can continue on with this one, marches. Coming up and breathing. This is my balance stick. So if you ever need something for balance, just make sure it's sturdy. You can come into runs here. You can hold the hands up. Or for a little bit of a auditory cue, you can slap those knees. Two and one. Always take a rest break, a water break more so whenever you need it. We're gonna come into those skaters. Option one, soft, soft land, side to side. So what you're thinking about here too, gaze forward. Woo, look at that, see, up next, end of round one. Gaze forward, so you're not bent over like this. You can come into a hop. You can add some quickness to it. Good, and Breathing, hinging at the hip core, engage. Nice job, five. Good carry. And the round one. Give me a thumbs up, give me whatever in the comments. I don't even know, what do we got here? 20 seconds, maybe not. You all can tell me later. I didn't know, I didn't know. Okay, same thing over again, dumbbell squat. Starting with that dumbbell squat. I've been watching way too many YouTube videos. Give me a like. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Dumbbell squat, coming down. So we started with this one. So we got that whole set again. What we just did 
from the beginning. So this one's a longer one. So we're slowly coming down and coming back up. Breathing all the way up to a stand, knees facing toes, using the tactile cue on the back if needed, maybe a chair and adding that press. If you'd like to come through that press, breathing up, good, five. Woo, nice work. All right, coming into that row, we're gonna roll shoulders back and pull back. Mandy made it. Woo! Rocking. I love it. Hold. Roll shoulders back. Three. Hinging at the hip. You can come into a bilateral row. So pulling those elbows back. You can come into singles. Here. Breathing. Come up whenever you need it as well. Because that's, that's that core engagement. We've got to keep that core engaged. So that might fatigue and we come up, rolling shoulders back, pulling. And again, controlling that weight on the way down as well. So pulling back, yes, that's good. Slowly lowering down to the ground, nice work. Nice job, Amy. Two, and one, Woo. Grabbing, I just wet my whistle all the time. All right, coming into the second set of the quick speed coordination, agility, conditioning piece. How many words are synonyms? I don't know, we'll see. High marches. So coming up, you can alternate. You can take out that upper body. You can alternate here. You can come high here. Ah, you can add a little hop. You can add a little skip to those high marches. You can bring into high knees, hands up. Lots of options there. Woo! Love it! And rest. Breathe, breathe. breathe. Ooh, it's like good music to rest. Burn. Okay. Skaters, three, 20 seconds, side to side. And low impact. Try keeping that gaze forward. If you want to add that little hop to it, if you want to add some speed to it, if you want to add some balance, keep that other foot up. You can do that with a low impact. You can add speed to that and hold that foot up. Always tap it down when you need it. 10 seconds. Whew. Oh, it's, it's, all, it's not bad. I don't, forget to, I don't forget to put on deodorant, but like you almost smell me, so it's fine. Hi, marches. Oh, you do smell me. Okay. I saw your face, Rachel. You're like, we do smell you. And coming up, breathing here. Coming into a jog. I need that auditory cue. Hands up and breathing. Whatever feels good for you. Nice job, Carrie. Two. Whew. Coming in to those skaters. I believe this is the, yes, last step before the end of the circuit. Two. And one, side to side, low impact. I like these, <laughs> my first first class speaker, I was like, I like these 30 minute classes. <laughs> I think it's a good amount of time though. Like, I'm like, uh, yeah, we're like, I think it was last year, I really wanted to do like 23 minute classes because I really like the number 23. It's like been my number you know, growing up, but I like it. So thank you all for being here. End of circuit, 30 seconds. Grab a drink. Maybe now if you have a little bit, you can tell me how you're liking the interval cam, how you're liking. Amy Mudd, yes. I love it. I love seeing y'all today. Mud. Mud. All right, coming into the next circuit, we're gonna go bicep curl to push press. So using whatever weight feels challenging yet doable, we're gonna come up elbows bending and press up bring it slowly back down here so you can be see you can be seated here you can come here and press here you can be stagger stance just make sure if you are stagger stance that you alternate that stagger stance about halfway through or you do the next stance the next time knees are slightly bent breathing out 
when you're pushing that weight, good. Three, two, and one. I'm only laughing because the next move is Amy's favorite move, reverse lunges. So I'm just teasing. We're gonna come up, hold the weight here. So you can come into a lunge and tap, or you can come into a tap and lift. If a reverse lunge for any reason is bothering your knees or anything like that, you can come into a tap and lift and focus it on balance. If you want, you can hold that weight high, soft elbows and lifting. We're gonna switch legs two and one here. So again, I'm holding that weight up soft or it's by my shoulder. I'm tapping back and lifting for balance or I'm coming into a reverse lunge. And if you wanna add a little bit, you can add that knee up or tap back and lift. All right, three step up, run back. So with this agility one, we're gonna step up for three. If you don't have the room, three steps, one, two, three, run in place. If you have the room, step, 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 run back. So here we go, up for three, jog it back. Up for three, jog it back. You can come into a hop for three, jog it back. You can come into a three step for three, run in place. Lots of options here. Same kind of thing, gaze forward. Good. Grab a drink, take a break whenever you need it. Nice work. Skiers! I'm just talking about skiing today. Option one, you grab the poles, side to side. Option one. Option one, you drop the poles. <laughs> Option two, you're adding that hop. This is kind of fun, we did skaters, now we're doing skiers. All right, option three, big hop, double land. Big hop, double land. Or small hop. Just like this. Throw that in there, good. Rock two. Ha! All right, three step up, run back. Do another set of this. Again, you can either jog in place if you don't have the square footage. Step and jog back. So a couple options here. Or you can hop for three if you have the room and would like to jog back. If you do not feel comfortable for whatever reason, you don't want to look back, you can jog in place. You're not breathing, good. Woo! All right, we have skaters. Now we got skiers. Grab the poles, leave the poles at home, whatever you are feeling today. Coming up, reaching up, side to side. And good. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Again, you can add that hop, that double hop. You can add some speed. Ah, whoa, there's some moguls. Okay. And then, or you can have <laughs> your, it's been a while since I've skied, but I've run over some moguls in my time. And one. End of round one, we'll repeat that one more time, and then we will come to a cool down. After that, you all high five, you show, show me a little love, thumbs up, smile. Ooh, high five from Terry, I like it, I like it, I like it. Woo! Coming into that bicep curl press, two, and one. So remember, if you chose that stagger stance last time, switch it up this time. You can always take this to a seat and just make sure upper body nice and high, breathing up, kind of like three steps you're lifting, turning, pressing, good. Feet secure on the ground, feel the pad of your foot, feel the heel of your foot, feel what through the shoe if you are wearing shoes. Three, and slowly coming down. Now we are going to come into that weighted reverse lunge. Now, remember, you do not have to have a weight. You do not have to have come into a reverse lunge. You can come into a tap, lift, or you can come into a reverse lunge, lift, or reverse lunge, touch. Lots of options here. No weight. Weight, lifting, making sure those knees are aligned with those toes. 
that your hips are aligned like a drawstring of them. So you're not thinking like this. We're gonna switch in two and one. Other side. This is big balance as well. So if you need to hold on to something for balance, please go ahead and do so. Tap. And the song said brace yourself right when I said balance. I did not time that, but that was good. Three. <laughs> two. One. All right. Coming into the last set of these quick, look at that money, quick agility, three step up, run back, or jog in place, three step, two, and one. Three, run in place, or hops. Again, another way to think, gaze up. Another thing that I forgot to mention last time with these is if you're always going with the right foot, make sure you alternate to start with that left foot, vice versa. Breathing, nice job. <sighs> nice. Now we're gonna come into those gears, side to side, breathing. Knees soft. So even when you come into that hop or that step, Knees are soft, you come down. If you're adding the upper body, reach high and throw down. Good, nice job. Really coming into both of those. Make sure those knees are facing those toes. So whether you choose to step or hop, you gotta give yourself enough time to turn for that knee toe placement. Last one of these two, and we'll come in. To the cool down. Three step, run back, up. One, two, three, and jog it back. <laughs> I think <laughs> I've used this before, but I used to think this said like, a husband's work is hard to do, and it's a hustler's work is hard to do. Okay, that just shows you, I, yeah. Craig's like, yes, yes. <laughs> side to side, knees slightly bent, coming up, reaching up, two, and one. Good, coming down, and breathing. So step, or that hop, hop knees when you land. You're jumping over something. You are avoiding it. Up and over, up and over, step up and over, good, two, and end of circuit two. We are gonna come into the cool down. You all are amazing. So, so pumped to see you all and be back at group fitness. As you can tell, I am very pumped. It was exciting. I mean, the move was tough, right? Like I didn't get to see my one-to-one -one clients for a while. I'm glad to be bringing this back down to step tap. I just saw it down. I'm Glad to be having this back too. Step tap, open up. Nice breath. I should probably like play a different song. This is a little bit like not a cool down song. You know, come on, give me a, give me like a, oh, here, this would should. No, that's not a, okay, step. You're like, we don't care about the music, Jamie. You need to calm down. Step tap, side to side. And one, stunnies. So, bend me, open up. So this time we're gonna come and take it very intentional. So knees bending, opening up. Open up those fingertips, stretch those fingers out wide. Good, opening up. You all are seeing the sunrise, I guess, depending on where you are in the country right now, but opening up. I am seeing the sunset, so I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> Three. And back and chest openers. So we're gonna come this way, open up the back, open up the chest, open up the back, open up the chest. Now you can come into an elongated stretch and turn if that's something that feels good. You can come open here, or if you have an elastic band or something to hold on to, or you can grab your hands, open up that chest here in that back. In that chest, grabbing good. Five. I'm waving the surrender flag. 
surrender. Hip flexor stretch, stepping back, grabbing onto the wall. Engaging that glute so you get that hip flexor stretch. And if you'd like, you can reach up and over. We're gonna switch in two and one. Switch side. Tuck that pelvis. Yeah, this is not a cool down song, but that's okay. I guess whatever, it works. <laughs> Reaching up and over. Coming into a hamstring stretch, toe comes up, hinge at the hip forward, gaze forward, grab something for balance if needed. Slowly coming down, breathing. We're gonna switch this one about halfway to as well. Five more seconds. You can turn that toe side to side, get different angles and switch. Heel digs into the ground, hinge forward and breathing. <laughs> Three and one. Inner thighs, last one here, I believe, coming down and then rolling shoulders back. Nice deep breaths, humming down and rolling shoulders back. You can even open up if you want. Good breath, start the day out, breathing good. Rolling those wrists, counterclockwise, clockwise. Coming down and breathing, five seconds. in the chat let me know what you thought how you liked the overlay how you feel about being back at group fitness class